Steve, introduce yourself. Yeah, Steve Jordan with Hurricane Kayaks and Big Adventures. I uh, wanted to show you the uh, Skimmer 106, which is our 10 and a half foot sit on top that we've designed this year. Comes in at a really nice lightweight at about 37 pounds. Uh, the boat's got a nice grab handle on the front there. You've got a hinge hatch, adjustable foot braces, very open floorboard, five and a half inch hatch with a bucket. Really comfortable seat that we sew in our factory. We sew the backrest. You can't adjust the backrest up and down. Got a nice paddle clip on the side. Low profile handles with gear tracks. Storage and bungee cord on the back. So really guys, I mean, it's got a lot of nice features, a lot of things you're used to seeing. I think the really big claim to fame is, is, is two things. The guy that designed it, Spike, who's kind of a legend in the industry, he's made a lot of designs that I really enjoy. So I know that this thing should paddle really well. I can't wait to get it on the water. But the second thing is, and you mentioned it, what's the weight of this kayak? About 37 pounds. 37 pounds for a recreational sit on top, you guys. That just doesn't happen in our industry. Um, most sit on tops that are in this ballpark like take this one for example here's its brother this one's probably what 50 something yes about 52 pounds so 52 pounds such a big jump just by going to that thermoform and also you're going to get a little bit better glide and uh sleekness in the water so definitely something i'm excited about let's go ahead and jump over to the falcon 11 which is the new boat that's not even released yet right this is no, a prototype no. we're looking at early spring release on this boat all right tell me about this yeah, one because this, this packs a lot yeah, for... Falcon 11 is a great stable boat that's going to track really well and fit really comfortable with the frame seat. A couple of features we did on this boat, we've got a nice generous rubber hatch for a lot of storage inside. Of course, adjustable foot braces, we've got traction pads, and then a couple of unique things on this boat is we've got a hinge console. It'll feature a transducer scupper with a really nice transducer recess on the hull. You can bungee the console down. You've got a small six inch gear track, gear track with a cup holder. You've got a small water bottle holder here in the floorboard. And then you've got the frame seat system, which native watercraft is very famous for. Really comfortable, breathable, elevates you for a little bit more comfortable seating position. You've got two seat height, high and you've got low. So you'll get a little bit more stability in the low and the high position you can go to a standing position really quick. Low profile side handles with gear tracks to be able to mount rod holders. You've got a nice generous well in the back that you can put coolers, a basket, bungee cord. You've got flush mount rod holders. You've got a nice paddle holder on the side. And then this year we're actually including the wheel on this boat. Wheel on the keel. You guys have had that, you used to have that on all your boats. All right, well, that's sweet. And also a little skid plate on the hull there. All right, so while you got it, I want to check out the yeah. hull of this thing. Look at this, you guys. Nice keel. Look at all that buoyancy out there on the edges. This thing is going to have a great secondary stability. Transducer spot, plenty of room for most transducers, and then scuppers throughout. Also a nice sharp keel as you look here in the front. That's your entry. This thing should paddle really nice. I'm excited to get it on the water. And, uh, okay, help me out. Last thing, price points on these two guys, Steve. We're looking at 799 price point. 949 on the skimmer 106 in so both brand new sit on tops under a thousand bucks the features and bells and whistles you get at 799 for this boat makes it really really appealing i can't wait to get this thing on the water i also love the fact that every single thing on this boat is made right here uh in fletcher north carolina i just met the gals that sew the seats up met the guys that mold the boats uh the guy that you know shapes the foam and designs the plug it's just really cool to see how many people you guys are putting to work through this kayak business. Well, Steve, thanks so much for your time, man. I appreciate you uh, showing me around. You're welcome, Dan. Thanks a lot. All right. All right, until next time, you guys, this is Dan and Steve wishing you, you know what I say? Get on the water and paddle. That'll work. <laughs> Happy paddle. We'll see you on the next one.